Zach. Welcome back to the Heroverse. And guys, we just got done with Riverdale uh, Season 6, Episode 18 called Biblical. Guys, as you know, literally, we like didn't do last week's previous episode of Riverdale. We've been super, super busy helping our sister that moved literally from uh, Michigan back to Pittsburgh. So we've been helping her. I've been working on the house with my dad, yeah, trying to get the house ready. Yeah, yeah. And then today, we just helped her move in. Yesterday, we had a funeral. Yeah, we, we, we've been super, super busy. That's why we've kind of like, you know, postponed Riverdale, not only for the fact of us being busy, I just, we've not had the, you know, the drive to even want to watch yeah. this episode because we have not been liking this season so far. Uh, I, you guys know I, I haven't. Well, she's, she's like some episodes. I'm not fucking with this season. They've, they've got me when the point when we, when, when we officially knew that they had abilities, I was here for it, but this show does not know what it wants to do. And this episode like, I understand why, even when I watched this episode, I understand why it took me so long, not only for the fact of us being busy, but and also me not having any, like, drive to want to even watch this episode. I understand now why I did not have that drive, because this episode still fell flat. It, it really didn't get good until the end of this episode, when, you know, yeah. everybody, like, all firstborns ended up dropping on the ground, and we ended up finding out... like, Archie, Tony... Yeah, Fangs. And... They, I think, I, but the bad guy said that Anthony's firstborn. Yeah, Anthony's a firstborn, but, and I guess, fan, I guess, uh, Kevin's like, that's why, um, you know, uh, Parzival wants him because he's special, which I get, I think it's really stupid that Parzival wants baby Anthony for a stupid reason, all because I, he said, like, he's, no he's the future of Riverdale and there can only be one one person that's there in the future. I don't even know. He said some dumb shit. All I know is that I hate that already. I, I thought that didn't Wait, make any no, sense why Jug he wants... Jughead was the first born too because remember Tatham and Akron? Who was? Who was? Jughead because Tabitha... Yeah, Jughead. Jughead yeah, Jughead. Jughead's a, for, yeah, Jughead's a first born too. Which when Tabitha ran out to go check on Jughead, I kind of laughed. I was like, the way they... Like, she's like, oh my God, Jughead. She was like running in heels. I thought that was funny. But even though it's supposed to be like, oh my god, like, oh my god, yeah, Jughead, like, holy crap, go check on Jughead. But I kind of, like, giggled a little bit. But not gonna lie, I, I'm not, I did not mess with this episode. I mean, I was really happy that finally that Cheryl is the one to say, let's just kill Parzival. Like, finally, I think she's the one that brought it up at Pops, at Pops, like, which is at the El Royale now, saying, okay, let's just kill, you know, Parzival now. Let's just do it. And then Archie's like, oh, but that, like, but then we would already have lost the war of good and evil if we were, we were to do that, which I think is stupid that Archie initially, and, and Jughead initially, wanted to just go kill Parzival. And technically, honestly, there is no excuse you can't now. Archie is now, he's, in, he's literally indestructible. He has no weakness now. I've been saying he could easily kill him if he wanted to, and this could be done with. But Parzival was I, just I, like, when he was doing the, like, boiling hot water, that, like... That was, yeah, well, he's... That just because he just trying to, like, hurt everybody he can. Well, I told... Because he was taking a roar down and burn it down. Well, I told Annie, I said this is stupid because literally... I can't stand all our characters. The writers are making it sound like our characters are dumb on the fact that they don't know Parzival is doing all these other things. I'm sorry. He's gone beyond the whole mind control stuff now. And you, and I'm sorry, it's like, you should, that's to be an instant, like, oh, it's only Parzival doing this because he's the only one in Riverdale right now that has, like, that that's a villain, essentially, that has these magical capabilities, these powers. He's the only one that really has this besides, you know, Cheryl and besides, you know, uh, Heather. and Heather, but they're not doing bad things. So it's kind of like, thought, a, it's kind of like a first assumption thought, that it is Parzival doing bad he shit. Have powers. Parzival, he yeah. does. He can mind control. So it's like, I can't stand how these writers are making our characters sound like they're dumb on the fact that, like, Parzival, need, Parzival had to call Archie to say, oh, I'm shocked you you didn't, you know, understand, like, it was me that's been doing all this stuff, that's been making Sweetwater River Red, and has been giving people, you know, you know, lice, and has been, I've been making toads pop up, and I've been doing, what else did he do? He did something else, I can't even remember. Uh, oh, he made uh, flies. flies pop up, he's doing plagues and stuff. I'm like, dude, it's like, how is it? That our characters are this dumb yeah, that he, they can't realize that he's doing this. He gave Jennifer and Dagwood lice, but Jennifer, I'm like, why is why is Cheryl washing your hair and not Alice? Alice was taking care of Jennifer and Dagwood. Well, it's it, the, see that's the least of the problems. I could give a shit. I could care less that Cheryl has Juniper and Dagwood. She has a right to have Juniper and Dagwood because. Alice is crazy. I don't think she should have they Juniper have and Dagwood. Yeah, so have, essentially, since she's been cra she's been taken over by like Percival, and so is Uncle Frank. Which I'm, we didn't see Uncle Frank in this episode. I don't know where the hell he was. Oh, but I, 
I want to say it's Dawson Tyler. We didn't say Agent Drake and Zach Hayes. Thank God. I cannot Drake. stand that character. Especially after last week's episode. The writers really pissed me off. What? On them, on, on, on them almost like... Like, on them almost ruining Barchi for me. I was so pissed. I was like, this... I was like, they better not have brought this girl in. Because I knew right away, I've been telling you guys, when Agent Drink popped up, she had a thing for Betty. And I was like, oh my god. I swear to god, these writers screw us over. Even though we've been waiting for Barchi all this time. And this girl comes in and screws it up. I'm not here for it. And I'm, I'm hoping Agent Drake doesn't come back next season. Even though I, I, I'm probably... I don't even know if I'm going to watch... I don't even know if I'm, I'm, I'm personally going to watch next season. I don't know if you are or not. But I personally don't even know if I'm going to watch next season because how angry I've been might, with this show. I might just freaking yeah, but in Cole's To be honest, I told Annie, literally, I might just wait until it gets on Netflix to binge it. I'm at that point where it's like, I personally don't want to give them ratings. And I kind of just want to, like, wait, honestly, probably... Until it gets on Netflix. Even though it will still give them, you know, whatever on Netflix. But still, I don't know if I even want to do it or not. Depending on how they end this season, I'm not quite sure. Which, again, I totally forgot also. I thought this episode was the finale of Riverdale. But it turns right, out there's 22. Not, yeah. The 19th episode. The 19th was the finale episode or whatever. Because it popped up on IMDb saying one more episode. I was like, okay. But it turns out there's 22 episodes. Which is like, oh my god. If we get any more than 22 episodes of this season, I'm going to flip. I don't want any more. I want this season to be done with. That's how annoyed I am with this season. That's how much I'm not liking this season. I just want it to be over and done with. That's personally I'm where I'm at. I say, I might not even be in the next review. Just because I am planning on flipping. Because I'll be out of content the night before I'm going to be there with her. I don't know why she's saying that because because uh, she wants to sleep all day, which is terrible. You shouldn't be doing that. And I'm going to try to get her to do it for uh, like for you guys at the at, like on, on Sunday. So that way we could just get it done and get it out for you guys. Because I did feel bad that, you know, we weren't able to get it, this review up for you guys, you know, last last Sunday. But like I said, we've I've been super busy with everything and, you know, getting the house fixed up for my sister and you know, and her moving, you know, from Michigan to here. So that's why I've just been super busy. On top of that, me not being motivated to watch Riverdale because it's just the, the season's bad. trash. But I just, you know, it really frustrated me again how the writers... The... after Hiram died. Like, just like, the show for me got, just got it bad. It didn't. I don't even like Hiram died. Yeah. Like, for me, the show about Hiram died. I, I haven't been motivated to watch it because there's no more Hiram. If it's higher, I would be motivated to watch it. Hiram watch it. doesn't make a season good or not. It's the fact that I'm just motivated to watch it. I, I know because you like yeah, I, okay. Well, as I say, I just I'm not messing with the fact of the, the how they have made Parzival a shit villain. He was cool at first, then but his methods going just forward so have just been shit. Proud. Like what? How him? I can't get over how he had to have like 50 million things of Jughead's to even get into his mind, to, like to open Jughead's Jughead mind. Also that was stupid too. to me. Still, I still Jughead, can't get past that. Jughead was so easy. He was he was and that alone made him a shitty villain. On top of now, he, him going into, like... It was good because, you know, the present that Cheryl was going to give to, you know, uh, Tony and Fangs was, was to kill Parzival by yeah, lighting yeah. Uh, a doll on fire, but he was able to redirect it and pretty much engulf Nana Blossom in flames, which that sucked. She, she I was like, die. damn. He, she used his burn real bad, and then he tried for oxygen and... And he, like, yeah, he, like, yeah, he, like smothered her. So... He and he, he did that because Nana Blossom, I guess, was a first, like, was the Riverdale's firstborn. I think that's what he said. Yeah. And then that's why Archie and Tony and Fangs and Jughead, all of them fell on the ground because they were firstborns. And the only ones that were left standing oh, is Kevin, yeah. Veronica, yeah. Tabitha, the, uh, Betty. Betty, and who else? Was that? Oh, and uh, Pops. Pops. Is and somebody on. else. I don't remember who it was. But, but it's also kind of cool because... When Jughead, you know, was going down, the other Jughead from Riverville showed up. I think that was the other Jughead from Riverville. I'm not quite sure. I don't know if, if we're still, if he was tapping because, into Riverville or not. kind of like, because Jughead of our world kind of was kind of scared of him. Well, the thing, well, I don't think it was, well, I think it was just shocked at the fact that on top of you, he was dying because he wasn't firstborn. So it's like, you're shocked to seeing another version of yourself, but also you're dying. So it's like, you couldn't even process what was going on. I'm just curious to know, really, like, we saw uh, La Llorona in this episode, which again is connected to Rivervale because we saw La Llorona in Rivervale. And so the one who turned you to the place of. Exactly. So I'm kind of, so I'm kind of wondering, it, it's kind of bleeding into Riverdale now, Rivervale. Because you know, Riverdale, so, the, 
remember if you remember, remember what, in an episode R2 was even said, oh, where I was had a student run all of all the universe called Riverdale instead of Riverdale because they were living in Riverdale. But if you remember that episode when it was a severe cross, mm-hmm. like, you heard him say that, oh, I woke up, I was having this I was, yeah, in that, yeah. Room, Riverdale. So yeah. And then, but like, Dale with a D and... Yeah, so, so like the, it's bleeding the, in. That's essentially what's going on, especially because yeah. we heard Ethel and him in the bunker in last week's episode. So, I, I, I we'll probably see Ethel. I'm just, again. I'm just confused on really what's going on her. besides it bleeding in, which I don't understand why it's doing that. We still have yet to understand. Also, we have still have yet to understand why La Llorona was taking, if that if it was taking his, his uh, story about his, his ghost, stories, his story. and it was not even just taking that. It was other stories that he he wrote. But no, I'm just, I'm. He said, he said there's a story missing. It kept and, happening. It was a story about a ghost. It was a story about Cheryl or something. It wasn't just... They kept taking multiple stories. I don't know why. We I still don't understand why. We'll probably understand in the next episodes to come until, you know... The best part about this episode is at the end of this episode, you know, where uh, Heather finally name drops saying, I think there's somebody that can help us. Sabrina! Sabrina. So I was like, okay, that's great. I'm, she, I was pissed when yeah, Heather took that long to, like, bring in Sabrina. Heather also... Train like her, her learning her power like how to use her powers came from the Spellman Coven. That that's a theory I have. It's the, she she got picked. She, she got you know it. she, she didn't say it. Spellman cover, she's Coven. She said I got picked up by a coven in in uh, Greendale. There's I think there's other covens there in Greendale, but that's one of the main ones that is in Greendale. I so I, that's just a, family. and I think that's that's a kind of like I feel like, but you're, me and you were kind of around the fact that that's like the only like thing everybody was thinking of it. Oh, she must have gotten yeah. taken in by the Spellmans. There's, and there's um a TV show, not Netflix too. There's another TV show that was on years ago, back in the 1990s. Oh, people know about Sabrina. Sabrina Teenage Witch. Yeah. Jen Hart, and that's how I know about the Spellman and Sabrina because yeah. of that show, and he watched the. But, um, yeah, honestly, that was the only thing that was interesting. That was like, okay, this is great. We get to see Sabrina in the next episode. But I'm pissed again that Heather took so long. Knowing on the fact of the threat level that Parzival was, and knowing that she wasn't equipped enough and skilled enough with her magic yet... And you know what I mean, especially in the the how like how strong Parzival is, and how like now like and like you know like how skilled he is with his magic, she should have called in Sabrina a lot sooner. That's my personal opinion. I don't like how these writers keep setting up people in a way to like you know, so like you know they set up on the fact that she knows that she was connected to the Spellman Coven, but yet she waited so long to bring in Sabrina. I hate when writers do that. It's like you can't. Make it, make it, like, connection to, like, somebody like Sabrina. Like, she has a connection to Sabrina, but she waits so long until now to do it. It's like she should have done it earlier, and I feel like that's a, that makes plot suck when you, when you, when she has a connection to someone so powerful like Sabrina, but she, but you hold it off on knowing that she knows it, and then finally so now they do it. I hate the, when writers do so that. I feel like if she, when she makes Sabrina and she's going to bring back all the four first ones, like Nana Blossom, Archie. Well, no, Nana Blossom's yeah. dead. Like, she got strangled. She's, like, well, she got, like, smothered. She's dead. I don't think she's coming back. I do think, though, that, and I, I thought that was really interesting. I think next week's will be interesting because um, Betty, Veronica, and Tabitha are going to be coming witches to help, you know, Cheryl and Sabrina and, and Heather, Heather all bring back Heather's everybody. Born. Yeah. So I'm excited to see that because now Sabrina's here. I just I'm I'm hoping they end this season off strong. Can also, I thought it was stupid. Like, can he have to go away? Can he go away? Or he do the railroad by himself? The railroad? Yeah. Well, I was about to say the the dumbest part about this episode is that you know the, apparently this guillotine, which I I'm gonna call it that because it is a guillotine just without the uh. The knife part. With the, not the knife part. But, like, that was supposed to take away his powers, but yet somehow he was supposed to... He summons crickets to, to you know, to get him out of that thing. And he, and also, he was able to also open up the vault, the door. vault door. I'm like, dude, I thought this stopped you from using magic. How were you able to summon crickets to get you out? I was like, this is stupid. And, of course, I thought that was dumb that everybody was kind of, like, focusing on Tony and Fangs' That's wedding weird, when it's more important stuff going on than that. That's weird. I think he's still wearing a had dream, though. He might be. I don't know. But I thought it was stupid that, you know, people are focusing on Tony and Fangs' wedding when it's, like, there's more important things going on than a wedding right now. You so can get your I wedding. Think, just deal with the, this so main I problem at hand. So, Tony are dead right now. Is Kevin... Does Kevin have custody of... Anthony? As of right now, yeah. Not legal custody, but yeah, as of right now. Without going through, like, papers and shit, yeah. In the meantime. I mean, I'm glad that... I feel like also it was kind of quick that Kevin kind of turned around. 
after all the bullshit he just did. But I mean, it's not like he tried to like you know work with Tony and Fangs and all them. They kind of, or at least with Fangs before, and then Fangs kind of screwed up everything, saying you know they like oh we'll take us to court and we'll, and we'll deal with you, even though he said he didn't want to do court. Remember, mm-hmm. Fangs kind of screwed it up, and even Tony was like, why would you do that? He kind of wanted to like help us settle the situation. So it's like it's not like like Kevin hasn't made you know you know like hasn't like you know made chances to try to you know mend mend things between tony and fangs but like there's been moments when fangs is like shut it shut it down after kevin was being so stubborn before and then kevin I, came to his senses I, I, and all I, that so i was just really i feel like it was kind of really quick I that they invited that. him i love the actor who plays uh fangs. i do love Dre, drew right Tanner, but Fangs just being stupid. Yeah, Fangs this season. Fangs I, I, I I don't like Fangs this season. I think that they really screwed his character up this season. I, I haven't been messing with him. Um, but yeah, guys, honestly, it didn't get good until you know Heather name dropped Sabrina, and people started dropping on the ground. Which I still don't understand why Parzival and did that. Why, um, Britta's back or whatever her name is. Yeah, uh, Britta's back with with a girlfriend. I'm I am annoyed that they didn't it, introduce the they girlfriend. didn't in- introduce us to but her we girlfriend. But Britta was gone back to her family. Also, yeah, Britta like got adopted and she I thought she moved out of Riverdale. I don't know. I, I think that's what I that's what I thought. Tony's but wedding? I mean, unless I wish they would at least maybe it showed us the moment where Tony calls Britta saying, oh, I want you to come in, to my wedding, but they didn't show any of that, which I thought was stupid. It's like, how, how are you going to bring her back, put her at main focus of her and her girlfriend dancing at at uh, Tony and Fangs' wedding, but you haven't even introduced her, introduced us to her girlfriend, and you didn't give us an, an intro to her coming back to Riverdale. Well, I thought that was really, ups- I was really upsetting to me that they didn't show us. She had a girlfriend when she left. No, she didn't. So she, she got a girlfriend when she moved out of Riverdale with her family i'm just annoyed that they didn't we didn't get to inter- get introduced to her girlfriend and we didn't get to see tony invite her to a we- her wedding if we were going to do a wedding thing this episode i just feel like we kind of it would be interesting to see that stuff if you're mm-hmm. going to bring someone back not just have them come back and then no explanation on, on the, how they got here and and what's been going on and oh she has a girlfriend oh what, what's her name like we, we didn't get any of that stuff i thought that was just i didn't know why they chose to do that that way but I don't know. It didn't get good, like I said, until Heather drop, name dropped Sabrina, which I do think Sabrina should have came in which a lot was, sooner. Which was at the very, very end yeah. of the episode. So this episode, again, I think is very weak. And on top of also with Veronica and her storyline, where like she was kind of have like an, she had like a, like kind of like a, a breakdown at, 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 again, Tony and Fangs' wedding, doing a sing, singing for them and pretty much, you know, just throwing glasses of champagne around and, screaming and I, yeah. I i don't even i don't know i don't know all for, I was having a midlife crisis. all for not having a guy to go to the wedding with i was like really Again, we went to, she's poison and she killed her her auto. i i was like i was like really i was like we're, she i was like they're really writing her, veronica's character like this yeah. i understand previous i told annie i understand previously you know uh archie no not archie reggie, What's, reggie said to veronica that you know you, you can't live without having a guy next to you or something. He said some shit like that. So I understand why they chose to do this, but I was like, I, I can't believe they're doing this to Veronica's character. Know. And we also didn't get the chance to hear Tony, not Tony, have to, have to tell us if it's, if it's Barchi or if it's Barchi, which one's Endgame. Yeah, which I thought, like, damn, she, she clearly is not over Archie, Archie, and she's not okay with the fact of, like, I want to know who I end up with. I want to end up with Archie, and I want to know, do we end up, are we Endgame? She clearly it really does not want to be alone, and, you know, she wants to be with Archie still. And I'm wondering what Tabitha was about to say. I hope to God she was about to say Barchi, because I swear to God, these writers screw me. In the last season, if I am going to watch that last season, because that's the only three thing, the only way I'm going to watch next season is the hope that we will see Archie and Betty get married, have kids, and have a house. That's what I'm hoping to see. That's the only reason why I'm willing to watch the last season of season seven next year is to see that. So I swear to God, if the writers are going to screw us, I'm not going to be happy. Again, Barchi... We right. all know. Even now, well, yo, even who's Endgame? Barchi time. Even though I have a shirt that it's Barchi time because of him, I don't. I I I, 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 I don't, don't support Barchi. I don't support that at all. I, I just didn't think they matched I want, well. I didn't want Barchi or Reggie. So. But also, I also I understand. Like I'm, I'm still. I don't know. I'm not for Tony and Fangs. I think Tony could do a lot better than Fangs. 
No, I like her. To be honest, Fangs has been an ass this season. Let me know how you guys feel about Fangs this season. I'm not. I've I not like been messing Fangs, with him this season. I don't like Kevin and Moose. Sorry, those who do, but I don't like Kevin and Moose. Also, again, like. Archie could, didn't even have to work on the railroad. He could have just showed up to Parzival saying, either you take away their boils and stop torturing my crew, or I'm going to break your arms, and then I'm going to snap your neck. There you go. And he could have. It's, it's See, that's the problem I have with the writers. They, they, they went... No, look, look, look at this. The writers went out of their way to make Archie inv indestructible, in invincible, no weakness, right? They did that, remember? Over the big ideal of that, who he was struggling and you know, having a weakness to the Palladium. But they went out of their way to have Cheryl forge him into somebody that has no, no weaknesses. Why would you do that? Because now it's like there is no excuse why he won't kill him. Exactly. That's a problem that these writers have. Is that It would have made sense before. Oh, I can't, I can't kill him because, you know, I have a weakness. That could have stopped him. But now that he has no weakness, there is no excuse that he can't go and go kick his ass. I'm, I've just had it with these the writers the, with the writers of the show. They've just not been doing a good job. They had me at first with the whole them really diving deep into the like you know into really giving us you know like really in, into really giving us the comic book stuff and really like you know embracing the comics. But now it's like they just aren't executing it very well. But I'm hoping they really pull through in these next couple of episodes. And let me know, guys, is 22 the last episode of season six, episode 22? Let me know if you guys know how many episodes there are this season, because anytime I look it up, I can't even find it. And I do want to know if 22 is the last episode of the season, because I hope to God it is, because I don't know how much more I could take. But I am excited for next week. I am excited for this upcoming week's episode because of yeah. Sabrina. So that's the only thing I'm really looking forward to is to see Sabrina again, because I do love, you know, the actress that plays Sabrina. So, you know, I'm excited to see we'll her back see in the role. So know. Maybe I will be in it. Who knows? She will. Um... But yeah, guys, again, yeah, that was, again, here, if you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel, put those notifications, like this video, I'd love to have you guys here, I'm part of the fam, part of the uh, channel, we're all about spreading love, positivity, and motivation, and I know, guys, you know, I, 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 you know, I, 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 we do spread love, positivity, and motivation, but guys, like, when, when a show is bad, we, we have to, we gotta critique it, we gotta let the writers know that this, it, this is unacceptable, it's just, it's not good. Um, but yeah, guys, again, if you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel, put those notifications, like this video. Guys, we are almost, again, to 600 subscribers right now. We're at 535 or 536, almost to 600. Um, I'm really trying to get to 600. That's my goal. And initial goal is to get to 1,000 before the end of this year. But guys, we will see you this upcoming Sunday for episode 19 of Riverdale. But guys, that was the video. We hope everybody has a great day, a safe day, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Yeah.